Hey everybody, Chris Rock, Stuff Training Guy. Uh, I'm in the middle of putting my lunch together and I thought it would be a good idea to share what's on the menu with you guys today. Um, I'm not starting from the beginning because I'm already halfway through cooking this, but I want to show you what I've got, what I'm putting together, and how this is going to uh, make my lunch uh, for the day. Uh, first thing I've done is I have grilled up some chicken. So these are, uh, this is grilled chicken. Uh, they're chicken tenders. I prefer the tenders to the breasts because the breasts take a little bit longer to cook. Chicken tenders are a very quick cooking option. Um, it's very easy to tell when they're cooked on one side, you flip them over and then you cook them thoroughly to the other side. So what I will do is I will take a few of those chicken tenders and put them in this bowl over here. Cut them up a little bit. I would say I take about a half a pound of chicken, that will be my lunch. Uh, so I usually buy the packages of chicken that are about a pound and I'll eat uh, about half of them uh, with each meal. So what I don't eat for lunch will be saved over for dinner or for tomorrow, uh, putting it in the refrigerator or something like that. Uh, so we've got some nice grilled chicken, a lean protein, that should be a part of every meal that you eat. Uh, the next thing that I'm gonna add to that are some sauteed uh, portobello mushrooms. So what I've done here is I have cut up some stuffing um, portobello mushrooms, which are a little bit smaller than the full-size portobellos, and I have sauteed them in olive oil and a little bit of salt uh, and garlic. So this is about three good-sized mushrooms. Uh, I eat a lot, so I'm going to put those in there as well. Uh, keep in mind, my carbs are vegetables uh, and fruits. I don't eat a lot of rice, hardly any rice, hardly any um, pastas, potatoes, those, those sorts of things. So my carbohydrates come from the fruit and vegetables that I eat. The next thing that I've done, uh, I've already grilled, uh, I shouldn't say grilled, I have uh, steamed some asparagus. So I'm going to take that, uh, and I like the tips and a little bit of the, of the uh, stalk of the asparagus. So I'm going to take those and put those in here as well. And... So I've got in there the chicken, I've got in there the sauteed mushrooms, the steamed asparagus. Next I'm going to add some tomatoes. So whether you like the cherry tomatoes or regular tomatoes, either one is fine. Uh, tomatoes are good uh, quasi-fruit and vegetable. So we'll cut that up. Uh, I will, I guess this is aping it, and we'll put that in there as well. And take a few of these cherry tomatoes. I only had one of those other tomatoes, so I have to improvise with some of the cherry tomatoes that I've got. And that's pretty much it. So that's gonna be my lunch for today. Uh, again, it's got the chicken on the bottom, it's got uh, the tomatoes spread on the top, and it's got the asparagus uh, added in there as well, uh, with the portobello mushrooms adding a nice little flavor. So uh, hopefully that gives you some ideas of what you can do for lunch. One of the things I want to share with you, again, I've shared with you before, is um, the garlic salt from Trader Joe's. This has uh, sea salt, roasted garlic, onions, and parsley in it. And it's really my go-to spice. So I'm gonna get the cap off of this and put a little bit of that on here for a little bit of extra flavor. So I've got the flavor from the olive oil, flavor from the, the uh, garlic salt. If you want a little bit more, um, you could put uh, some balsamic vinegar on there as well, uh, which is back here. So if I wanted to spice it up maybe just a little bit, I can add a little balsamic vinegar uh, to that as well. So there's really a lot of things that you can do, kind of be creative with what you're doing, but this is pretty much the staple of what I eat. Um, I'll mix up the protein, I'll mix up the vegetables, do you know different varieties of that, but pretty much what you see here is what I'm eating uh, every day for lunch and dinner. And then the leftover portions of the chicken, I save that. We'll snack on that during the day uh, with a piece of fruit, with some nuts, some seeds, something like that. So hopefully that gives you some quick ideas for meal prep. Thanks for joining me. Again, Christopher Rutz, Tough Training Guy on Instagram and Facebook, as well as Tough Rutz on Twitter. And you found me here on YouTube. Thanks. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for liking this video.